this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and today we're introducing Google Fiber. Google Fiber is Google's own uh, telecommunication network, if you will. It's an internet as well as uh, TV uh, provision service from Google. And what Google Fiber uh, really brings to the table is actually the first uh, internet service that goes at over a hundred times normal pace of what you have right now. So basically you're getting gigabit internet uh, speeds, a thousand megabits per second or at least one gigabit. That's what Google is promising here. Now if you all remember last year Google had put out bids for cities to actually test this fiber optic network and Kansas City won the bid so that is the first location that will be running Google Fiber. Now Google Fiber has combination of packages uh, which we can look at the pricing here and they have three uh, plans uh, for consumers. You have the Gigabyte uh, TV uh, and Internet package for one, $120 a month. The $300 uh, construction fees waived. You also have the Gigabyte Internet package for $70 a month which the fees also waived and you have a free uh, Internet uh, package which you do have to pay the construction fee uh, one time fee at $300 or you can pay $25 over 12 months and in this package you're guaranteed internet for seven years so you get five megabits download one megabit upload no data caps uh, free services guaranteed for seven years and you you will also get a network box so uh, the network box itself is a, uh, a box which is basically a modem and a router together which allows you to of course, get up to 360 megabits through your uh, your your router over Wi-Fi. Uh, of course, it's got the new 3x3 Bebo antennas, so you get dual antennas, and you also get gigabyte fi firewall with your system. That is with the free package. So let's take a look at what we really want to see with the uh, gigab gigabit package itself. Now, if you think about what is offered on the market right now, Comcast as well as uh, Verizon and a few other networks offer 100, 100 megabits for consumers. There are still larger packages for businesses and they just announced the 300 megabit package which costs $300. With Google here, your gigabit package, so let's put it this way, it's a thousand megabits. Gigabits may sound, you know, foreign, but I'll put it this way as a thousand megabits cost seventy dollars. To put it in better retrospects, I have fifty megabits and I pay about fifty dollars for that. So for twenty dollars more, if I was in Kansas, I would be paying seventy dollars for a thousand megabits with no uh, data cap and a thousand up Google guarantees a thousand up and a thousand down with no data caps seventy dollars uh, and taxes and fees included what you get of course is the network box which we mentioned which allows you to get 360 megabits per second over Wi-Fi now if you connect it directly to the box itself you and of course you have a gigabit uh, port on your computer you will be getting those gigabit speeds uh, combined you also have access to Google Drive um, which of course you can download either on your uh, your PC or your Mac and uh, this, these are very great prices solid prices now again this is only in one area so we don't know how this will expand to other cities um, but it's something uh, other carriers should take note I think other um, companies as Google is trying to expand its its uh, portfolio of services it uh, drops out there on the market now besides just uh, providing internet uh, they also provide a TV package with that now the gigabit TV and internet package goes for $120 uh, what you do have and what this comes in is your remote control first of all is a Nexus 7 you get a free Nexus 7 with your package now this costs $120 and Nexus 7 costs 200 bucks already so you're already getting a bonus if you will on top of this uh, with the Nexus 7 tablet you get your TV box now your uh, TV box as you can see here is a HD ready box uh, it gives you components of HD channels as uh, HDMI out it's also Bluetooth enabled to connect your TV as well as a Bluetooth keyboard um, of course you do get the network box uh, which allows you to again uh, connect uh, devices via Wi-Fi you also have accelerator access between IP4 and IP6 uh, gigabyte routing 
and then you also get a storage box which is up to two terabytes of storage you can record your tv shows with this uh record up to eight hours uh eight sorry not eight hours eight shows at the same time which is pretty cool right now industry standard is just four shows at the same time but you have two terabytes of storage which is a lot of storage just to uh, record your hd content and of course access to google drive so pretty much you can get all your google services combined with this now there's no word if uh, google tv is combined with this uh we're not exactly sure sure if uh, the TV box is implemented with Google TV to bring the Android market and all those things together. But so far, it looks like it's a standard uh, TV service, of course, with your Nexus 7 as your remote control. Uh, most likely, they will release an app to show you, uh, which you can probably use any Android phone to actually control um, your uh, Google Fiber TV. Now, in terms of uh, stations or channels, uh, they have a slew of stations. You have Showtime available, you have Encore, you have Stars. Uh, no word on HBO yet or AMC, but they do have a lot of uh, programming. Uh, from the looks of it, it looks like it's over at least over 100 channels in HD. So uh, this would probably progress and grow as things move along, but um, it looks like Google at least is starting on a very sound footing in terms of the uh, Google Fiber packaging. Again, this is only available in Kansas City, although Google is not taking uh, pre-registrations for uh, Kansas as well as also uh, you can get notifications to see if this will be rolling out in your in your area. So if uh, Google decides to expand this from its pilot program in Kansas City and comes to your area, you can be notified letting you know if you'll be able to get uh, Google Fiber itself. But, um, you know, in terms of what the impact is on the industry, uh, I think this is uh, phenomenal because what you have here is a company basically providing Internet at its, you know, its, its cost price, if you will, uh, compared to what you get with different carriers, be it Comcast, Time Warner, Verizon or RCN. Who are the major players in the industry is that you're getting uh, in, uh, gigabit internet speeds which we've been promised for over 10 years that was coming soon and finally you have a situation where you can actually afford to get that uh, you're looking at the plans $120 for gigabit internet as well as tv you know is pretty good especially since you it also has a showtime and stars included according to their uh, channel listing not sure if that's extra but it looks like that's what it is with the channel listing and even if you don't want to go with that uh, having a thousand um a thousand megabits per second for your internet speeds uh, means you can basically do all your TV viewing online. You can, you know, stream and watch stuff on Hulu as well as do other things without being interrupted. So this, I think, is um, is going to shake the industry and, and we'll see, hopefully we'll see this grow and expand. But th right now that's Google Fiber. And if you live in Kansas City, I suggest you take advantage of this. This looks like it's uh, pretty good. Uh, good rates, uh, very cheap, and also you're going to be getting very fast internet that only major companies, you know, big companies run at these speeds. So uh, that's pretty much it. That is Google Fiber. If you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with two O's. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.